Tony. Tony. I've yet to see something Tony can do. He might be a good one for president too, actually. Uh, who's like the funniest guy you've seen? So you can vote for yourself. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Funny guy? Stancy. Oh yeah, I could definitely see Stancy as a game show host. Uh, if you could, if you if you were stranded on an island with a teammate, who would you want it to be? Dace, because uh, I could, you know, he's the most to eat when <laughs> survival situations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who, uh, if you had to be on a reality show and try to win it, what would you want? I survived a Japanese game show. <laughs> and with with my obsession for Japan, absolutely, I survived a Japanese game show. Yeah. Um, uh, if, you, if you could build a restaurant in your house or apartment, what would you want in there? Restaurant? Like, like a fast food joint, hole in the wall. My friend John Mann's actually cooking. We talked about, about his future restaurant. It sounds pretty good. Just kind of a little jazz club place. Maybe go, you know, maybe a little jazz, maybe do a little dance and have a little something to eat. So that'd probably be about right. Do you call it pop or soda? I call it soda. So is that yeah. most guys on the team? There's, I've had debates actually with guys on the team about it. Yeah. And some people get really heated. <laughs> would you prefer a playoff system to the way the Bulls are set up right now? I would, um, but I see. I mean, I see the upsides and the downsides to the Bulls system, and I think some combination could probably work. But it'd be real weird to set up, and you know, for now, I'm fine with what we got. Is, is there a team you'd like to play in a Bull? Iowa State. Iowa State? I think it'd be real interesting to you know, play them once in the season and then get to the end of the season to have to play them again for you know even bigger stakes. Yeah. Uh, if you could pick the two teams to play in the next Super Bowl, who would you want to see? You know, the Packers and Steelers. Yeah. I'd be a little torn but it, you know, about who I want to win, but I'd, I'd like to see that. Uh, one other teammate question. If one teammate were to date your sister, who would you want it to be? I mean, you got good ones this year. All right. Mike Daniels. Mike Daniels. We're definitely Mike Daniels, yeah. All right, that's good. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, as your days as you know, your days as a center were short. Uh, are they over now? I don't think so. Um, really, you still maybe thinking about it? Uh, maybe, and of course, next year, you know, yeah, uh, Roth will have graduated, and um, I'm sure that once again we'll be looking for another guy to kind of step up and be, you know, a second, third string guy mm -hmm. um, if if somebody goes down. So, um, you know, for right now, it's it's just on hold, but I could definitely see uh, see trying to make that happen again. Is that something you wanted? I mean, is that maybe a place where you could see yourself in the NFL? I certainly wouldn't mind it. Um, you know, it's it's de it would definitely be a chance. Uh, to put a little more focus on knowledge about the offense. Right, right. Um, and you're a cerebral player, and that's yeah, a serious spot. That's a very serious spot. So, uh, it's definitely something that I can see myself doing. Uh, my problem is I overthink a lot, so you know I can see I can see myself doing that too. But you know, if I got to the level like Roth and Josh, who are just you know any play in the playbook, you you know rattle it off into defense, and boom, they've got the center called. Mm -hmm. you know, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Is that is it? Uh, is it a dead deal this year, though? I mean, as far as because you're going to miss some camp or all camp, is it? Does that kind of stay with what you know type of deal at this point for you at guard? Um, for right now, that's what I'm focusing on. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably where the coaches want my focus. Uh, that's what I'm teaching the young guys about. Um, it's just you know what I know best, which is guard. Uh, but whenever I come back, uh, and they'll have me ready to come back. Uh, I think wherever they want to put me, I'll be willing to go. Do, what, what is? Do you have a timetable now, or as far as health wise? It's, it's all about is that is it frustrating? Because uh, oh, it's very frustrating. Yeah, I mean, standing on the sidelines, you know, or running across fields, or doing the stationary bike and watching everyone else, uh, you know, doing the work is is, is tough. You yeah. know, it's real tough. Uh, you know, there's there's no guy here who wants to be injured. Everybody wants to be out on the field playing the game. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it's something that a lot of people have to go through. Uh, everyone's going to suffer setbacks, so it's just something I got to deal with. Thanks.